Hi, this is Pepper from Pepperscraps.com and today I wanted to show you how to add events to your Google Calendar. I wanted to show you this because this is a great tool to use and I've actually written posts about it before and if you're joining me from 31 days to build a better blog then um, I really think that you should watch this. It will really help you to um, know how to add events to your calendar and how to use it for your, your blogging. So let's get into um, this video and it is a little long so I hope you'll stick with me on it and thank you. So let's get started and we're going to go into my calendar blogging and we're gonna, I'm going to show you a few different ways you can add events. So um, you can click this button right up here, create event. It gets you to a main men menu option which gives you kind of a lot of different details that you can add to your event. So we're going to go blogging about Google Calendar. Oh, we got to change that. Blogging about a Google Google Calendar. So, you can actually also change the time or when you want this all done. Obviously, it's late at night, so it actually has two different days set up here. We're going to hit this day. And um, you're going to hit... So, for me, for my blogging, I actually make um, each thing that I have, like, as far as posts, as an all-day event. And then that way it just puts it at the top of that day. Um, it doesn't cover the whole day's agenda. Now you can also change it so that this is a repeating event. You can do all sorts of different kinds of repeating. Weekly, monthly, you can specif specifically choose certain days that you want it to, event to um, do uh, repeating. And then you can also, this where, you can put like, so say you're going to a party or something. You can put the address of where you're going in there. Um, which is really great because since if, if you have it synced to your phone, if you forgot to bring your ad the address to the place that you're going with you, you can just pull it up from your phone. Which I love that feature since I have done th that multiple times. Um, for internet use, um, for blogging or anything like that, um, you can also put a website address. It will not be clickable, but you can copy and paste it into a browser window. This is also great for um, menu planning. You can put the address um, or the link to the recipe that you're using for that day. You can also put some more description information in here if you want. Um, if you're doing it about a blogging post or anything like that, you can give yourself a whole bunch of different ideas. Now there's also more options down here. You can set up reminders so that it will email you when it's coming up at a certain time. You can actually set it up that it, you can have it send it to you weeks ahead, days, hours, minutes. All sorts of different things. It can email you, or it can just send up. It can just have a pop up when you go into the Google Calendar. You can also these two features down here is for if you're sharing your calendar. You can set up your calendar so that it only shows when you're available or busy. Um, if you want to keep it rather kind of private, and then you can also set up that each event you can set up as private or public if you want. You can also set out invitations to people if you want to invite them to your event. Um, I don't usually use this. Actually, I've never used this because I like Evite. Um, mainly because I just like things that are pretty and Evite's kind of pretty. Let's go ahead and save. Okay, so now you're going to see today is highlighted on my calendar and there's my post. Now, um, we are going to come up here and you just notice that there's a quick add option. Now this option only works for your main calendar, so if you're wanting to add something really quick, you're just going to type it in there, the event, the time, and the day. And You can put even tomorrow in, or you can put Saturday in, and you just click add and it automatically adds it to your main calendar. It will not add it to the calendar that you're currently working in. So let's get out of that, and we're going to add an event by just clicking the day. So you can say that what you're adding, let's see, and then you can also enter um, 
a little bit more information if it's specific time if you want and you can change the calendar um, I'm going to show you what edit event details does later but we're going to just click create event and there it is for you now one of the nice tricks um, also is that like say for my vlogging about Google calendar obviously I'm not going to be able to get this posted today since today only has a half an hour left so you can actually pick it up and drag it over to the day you want and you can drag over and so that is really nice if you want to just easily drag and drop your calendar um, very simple now you can also on the day view if you have something that's specific to a certain time um, you can click on that time and it automatically adds an hour event for you so let's say you need to have a chat with your um, readers you can just create that event and it's set up with the exact time for you now you can also change that time say you need it for three hours you can just do that and it drag and drop and it fixes it for you now going back to the month view we were going to show you how to if you go in here and you click on this event here's back again to that edit event details also over here is copy to my calendar this will copy this event straight to your main calendar so if you're sharing your main calendar um, and you want to share this event with um, whoever can see your main calendar you can just click copy to my calendar and it'll go straight there for you now let's click edit event details and we're back into that main screen with a lot of the different details and you can go in and edit things as you wish and then you also can click save now over here I have a mem that actually doesn't exist anymore I don't believe I haven't seen it at the website for a long time so I'm just going to click on this event and right here you'll see that you can delete it now it gives because it's a repeating event you have lots of different options you can click only this instant and click and just delete the one item this is great if you have a series that you're going to do but let's say there's a holiday or you're going to be out of town a certain weekend and you're not going to be able to post that day you can go in there and just set up your calendar with all the repeating events and then click only this instant and it'll delete that one um, day that you're not going to be available you can click all events in this series and what this will do is it will completely take out all the events out of the whole, out of all of your calendar or you can click all the following so what that will do is it will delete the one that you clicked on and everything afterwards you can also if you want to get out of here just click don't delete we're going to click all following and there it is it's all gone so thank you for making it through the whole video. I hope that you learned something new about the Google Calendar and that you will try it out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it in my comments and I'm happy to answer them for you. I'm hoping to do more of these videos to help you learn how to use some of the great tools that are on them. Um, that are online and so if you want to join me again feel free to subscribe to my blog and again this is Pepper at Pepperscraps.com